was blown as well. Flashes down for Ari. That that uh, turned out to be a, a pretty nice trade. Uh, for I haven't got another Dorans. Uh, okay, we'll see. All right. We went to two Dorans versus Fabi's two Dorans. Uh, I think Fabi's just going to bully him around now. Unless he can hit some really good combos. Hey, watch how fast Fabi. Oh just, my like, god. Like, it's like you hit the charm, but even after you throw out the orb, and uh, even if you hit a Foxfire, which I don't even think he did yet, uh, he doesn't even have, like, you're... <laughs> You're screwed because he's already back up to almost full health. I mean, Minigun is looking to be in a dire situation. Yeah, Minigun actually only has 22 armor. I don't even think he has armor on his on his uh, on his runes. Like he's just getting he's getting almost all true damage with each auto attack. So I think it's a really bad mistake take by Minigun to take no armor in this matchup. No, oh, this is this is going to be rough. Just a few minions there at the at the tower. Uh, oh my god, and another one comes out, hits one the hail arrows, dead. and the piercing, yeah. And he's about Let's to hit level 6 it. as well. Well, he's still a ways away, I guess. Miniguns. Uh, we're calling this one. You can keep pumping that chest for a little while, St. Vicious, but I have a feeling that uh, it's a done deal here. There he is, Fabi goes for first blood on the piercing arrow. It looked like a pretty decisive win for Fabi. The time is 10.43 EST. Call it. <laughs> there you go. All right. The first match is over. And it is going to be Fabi taking it. He moves on to the semifinals. And now he will be going up against the winner of our next match, which is One Bad Brad versus Chaos. So we are going to be taking a break, and when we come back, we'll be hopping right into this next game between One Bad Brad and Chaos. Uh, thanks for joining us. We'll be back. Don't go away.
All right, folks, welcome back to the eBay Charity Invitational by Onog. I am DJ Weed, joined by St. Vicious, and we are about to hop into our second matchup, the one you've been seeing up on the screen. It's One Bad Brad versus Chaos. We are already waiting for the delay, so we're going to be jumping to the game screen. You can see what champs we've got here, but uh, welcome back, St. Vicious. And uh, here we go. The Twitch and the Karma. See, I told you pull out some cheese. TV yeah. Character. So, what do you what do you think about this? Uh, uh, what do you what do you have? Uh, I mean, what do you think you, you might be trying to accomplish here? With the uh, I think he's just gonna try to push like all game. Uh, Karma's a really good pusher, and she has a really good poke. But Kax is running exhaustic night, so I think he wants to do an all in trade at like maybe level two or three. Uh, so if he can maybe kill him off of that, uh, Kax can win. If not, then battle probably went off push. How effective do you think, uh, like, sort of the unorthodox is in this format versus just going, like, straight up and maybe, like, KX and all-in strat? I think it depends on the player. Like, if you got the mechanics to do the all-in strat. Like, you saw Fabi miss the ultimate in that one mm -hmm. game of Varus. I mean, he still won the game because he hit all his arrows, but that really all comes down to mechanics. So if you have bad mechanics, probably go with the, the pushing strat, which is what Brad's doing here. This is the second matchup of the night. We've still got uh, two more after this. These are best of threes. Uh, match three is going to be Aframu versus only Jaximus. And then we've got Rux versus West Rice for the final match of the night. We'll be back here Wednesday, tomorrow, to uh, conclude the tournament as well. And we're about ready to go into the final seconds of the delay. So a reminder, it's going over to ebaycharity.gg, and I'll show it in just a moment. Check out the My Gadgets from eBay. And uh, you know, shout out to eBay for getting involved with uh, League of Legends. Seeing a lot of a lot of big companies uh, getting involved all over esports, competitive gaming, and it's always a pleasure to see. Guys, the delay time is over, and we are about to load into the game. Hallelujah! <coughs> all right, and we're loading. Going with Gangster Twitch. Versus the, the no best. skin karma, so skin advantage to Chaos. It's the best skin, I think. I like the gangster twitch. I don't. Know, I don't really like the karma skins that much. Yeah, her her rework card is the best. Yeah. Hopefully they give her a new skin. I think uh, yeah, that'd be pretty good for her. I think she only has one right now, doesn't she? Uh, well, it's still got the old art and stuff. Yeah, it's true. It doesn't look that great doesn't look all right. all right starting items oh there it is the Red elixir pot. actually Kax just made a mistake because he popped elixir before he got even close to the lane so he i think he's gonna try to kill him at level one all right. uh, there's there's no other way that i could see that he wouldn't do that so uh carmelly has 562 health and he's running 31 armor so he does have armor yellows i don't think he'll be able to kill him though this is like gonna be a really greedy play all right, well, Chaos is gonna gonna try to make something happen here. I like it. I don't know about who's delivering the cheese here, but <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously it's the rat. <laughs> the rat, plague rat, has spoken. <laughs> All right, well, the suspense. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Let's just wait for the minions to spawn. All right. <laughs> Yeah, dude, dude, yeah, KX has this red pot ticking this whole time. I uh, think he made a mistake with that. Like, by the time the wave even comes, half his red pot's going to be it's gone. It's going to be gone. Yeah, and that's 350 gold. So if he can't kill him on this all-in, he, like, automatically loses the game. Yeah, I, I'm really curious to find out what he did there. If it was just a... Minions have spawned. Tried to move it or just a fat finger or whatever, but... The half time that he's been sitting there with the bonus has not exactly been effective. Are you kidding? He's gotten to dance so much with that red pot on. <laughs> Just a little bit of extra energy there, I guess. All right, minion sitting in the front. He's going in for it. He is. Right away, he's getting behind him. There it is. Drops both of them. He's fired away. No. Then there's the barrier. Not even half. Not out. even. And half that red pot's already gone, so all Brad has to do is stay alive. He's he's actually gonna go back on that. He has the TP. 
Kind of a smart play by Brad. You can just go and get a bunch more potions. Chaos Red Pot's gonna run out. Uh, yeah, he's gonna get some more potions here. No, I actually got a mana pot. Hmm. He has four health potions, one mana pot. So he's just gonna be, he's not even using his TP either. He's just walking back to lane. Not concerned with CS. Well, not... the reason why he's doing that is because uh, Chaos is he's freezing the wave right now. He's only last hitting, he's not really yeah. pushing the wave up. But wait, he actually does TP, what the heck? Oh. Oh, coming in hot. Lost a little bit of experience there. Still sitting at uh, level one, but Chaos, he's about to uh, lose out on his elixir. There's level two. Looks like he's going back in for it. He has no exhaust or ignite this time. Brad's just going to quickly run away. Yeah, I think that's the smartest move. Just try to get rid of that red pot. Play it safe. Going to go in so, a second time. It's actually about to tick out. Uh, the red potion should be out now. It's out. So basically, Kaox has no items now, if you really think about it. Yeah, now the push is going to start coming. There's a the tether. Going to get some real nice damage off right here. In fact, Kaox actually hurt very bad. That's going to probably be it. Oh, my oh, God. Is he going to go for the shot? So nope. close. Really close. Really close. But, I mean, even though are just pushing his advantage further and further. Oh. All right. A little scared Brad, there. Brad using so much mana. He just wants to make sure that Kaox doesn't come up to this creep wave. Oh, actually going to stop him from backing. Even better. And lose a lot of, uh... Well, he snags one. Actually, Kaox going to decide to hold back He's already a winning bit. on the CS. He has double the CS already. The early red pot pressure. Oh, Brad's got full spell options. Uh, mana's uh, sitting about 30% right now. And 15 to 10. And there it is. So Kaox actually, even though the can the bat got canceled, not that big of a deal. And he gets enough money just to buy two potions and a Dorans. So after I think if Brad gets a chance to back, he'll, he'll probably be able to pick up another Dorans and he'll be Yeah, it looks like he wants to push up for that. Yeah. So he'll be uh, an entire Dorans up on the Kaox. And we saw what happened in the last game, you know, just when that advantage came out right away. Or Minigun. Minigun just frankly could not handle it, especially with the characters got poke. Well, I think uh, Doran's Blade advantage is a little bit better, just because Doran's gives you sustain. And uh, I don't really think that Karma has the ability to burst the Twitch, especially when he has exhaust. Actually, that was triple Doran on Varus, wasn't it? Match yep. one anyway, yeah. All right, so, uh, yeah, the second ring comes out. And, you know, although uh, risky on, on Kex's part from the start, you'd think maybe he'd be a little bit more behind, but it's not looking too terrible. Yeah, I think he could have definitely played it out better if he didn't use the potion so early. Like, Red Pot starts pretty good if you if you get a good all-in. And his Ignited Exhaust just came back up. He actually might try to make a play with it. Immediate, yep. you know, immediately goes stealth. It's moving in. Not the time quite yet. It's amazing to think that Kaox is so low, and there's the tether. Kaox can come out, dishing out some damage, but Kaox stopped again. It's half his health in like two spells. He has no ignite though, so I'm not sure he'll be able to pop him. No. Just gonna push it up a little bit further. <laughs> Kaox wants it in, there he goes in. Doesn't blow either. Actually getting some pretty good damage off of him. But Brad keeps running away from the expunge damage, so. Uh Kax is actually out of potions too. Brad pushing forward just uh a tad. Is back and forth, certainly. After what looked like was gonna be a death from Kaox. Brad's gonna go in for it again. There's the tether. Misses it's a minion, key, yeah. That's too bad. Actually run him out of mana. All right, blew both of them, but not going to be enough, I don't think. Oh, is Kaox going to go back around for this? Oh, no. Damn, I thought he was actually going to go for it. Oh! A beautiful dodge. Isn't is it enough? We both have no mana. I think he has enough mana for 1Q very soon. Oh! oh! Very nice. Damn. Right, takes it. So, yeah, I told you. You're Rap right. Jeez. You know what? That worked out great. That was uh, that was close. I mean, I think that uh, 
I think we saw Chaos actually make the most out of that game, despite the fact you know that he he blew that a little bit. Uh, he blew the elixir so early. I wouldn't be surprised to see the red pot start again. It's actually not bad. He just needs to not drink it at the beginning of base. Yeah, he didn't get the. I mean, obviously he didn't get the kill right away, but uh, man, he uh, he lost a lot of benefit to that. So, Brad up one. You called it. You called it so far. Now we're gonna get to see the bands. Uh, Chaos says Lee, Jarv, and Karma. Okay, those are a lot of bands that I wouldn't expect. Caitlin, Ezra, Vera. So he doesn't want to go against the AD carries. Seems to be a pretty consistent band against AD mains. Almost the same bands as Fabies. Yep. Oh, my bad. All right. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. Get started here. Find out what we're going to have. Anything different? Obviously, no more karma out on the field. But I, you tell you tell me, Saint Bish is like I have to imagine like one bad Brad is going to have that card in his back pocket. But you know, usually if you've got that one card, you've got a second one. I'm calling a scion. Really? A scion. Yeah, I feel it. Feel it in my bones. Sad face, red pot. <laughs> <laughs> he knew it. All right. I'll load up here. Uh, all right. Both all right. players look like they're ready. I think we're going. There it is. Success. All right. So how about you, man? You more on the, the league side now, or the StarCraft? Are you like just going over to Dota or something? Like, well, what are you doing? Oh, it's now it's like my my interview now. Sweet. Sweet. It, yeah, dude, I got you. Um, you know, I mean, you know me. Like, I've been uh, a man of of many games for for quite some time. Um, I watched uh, like the International Three, uh, but I I can't. What'd you think? I mean, it was it was amazing, right? Like, even some of the games were incredible. The storyline's really good. Um, Dota is not a game I enjoy playing, but I definitely enjoyed watching the competition, and rightfully so, right? It was for one point four million dollars. Like, some of the best talent in the world is there. Um, so, right now, as far as just gaming, it's pretty much just SC two and League for the most part. Um, you know, play not only with my wife, but uh, just whatever, Arams, Trilane, Trilane, and uh, you know whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'm a fan of the Arams. They're pretty chill. Yeah, my it's it's been funny to to see my wife come in like since the Aram you know mode is has been added because she just like she just like can't play a tank right. Like, she just doesn't quite, and maybe even any melee character for that for that matter. So it's pretty hilarious to it's charges in and dies. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. It's pretty great. So yeah, man. You know, like to be honest, it's just so amazing to like, right? Like I was, I was sort of, I was playing Quake Three professionally back in '99, and to and to see like how far things have have come, and uh, you know how uh, how big everything has grown is just absolutely incredible. It's just it's awesome to to see and. I'm glad to just kind of be a part of it all. Yeah, it's come a long way. Yeah, it has. I don't know. But honestly, I never really thought it would get to, like, even this level in the States, so it's good that it's moving. It's taken a long time. Like, I mean, esports in general has been, uh, it's been, I, I mean, I don't know if underground is the right thing to say, but it's definitely, like, an enthusiast activity, right? Like, even, even back in the prime days of counter-strike 1.6 and brood war outside of korea of course like you were kind of a hardcore enthusiast to to be into it and yeah. that just seems to be changing uh in in every in every game that i've seen every community i've seen which is again it's cool it shows that there is a ton of growth happening all over the place i think production value has definitely gone up a lot man it's like so much like, better i mean i i gotta be like Ti three was really cool, dude. They're they're like big screen, 
was uh, was uh, super awesome. How it had additional information on or like that. You know, this is definitely good. Obviously, everything that the LCS has been doing. I got to say, one of the most badass productions I've seen this year has been the All Stars. Like, I agree. My I God. was actually pretty impressed by that. And I went to I went to Worlds last year, and like I was like, damn, Worlds is like a live orchestra and all this other stuff. But I think they actually they took it up another level with All Stars. So I'm kind of I want to see what they're gonna do for for Worlds. You gotta imagine they're gonna drop some crazy stuff, dude. Yeah. You gotta imagine. So, all right, we got a minute until we uh, we fire into this one. So we do have uh, one bad Brad going with Annie this time. Barrier TP, and then Chaos is gonna stay on Twitch. So, do you think we're gonna see that same strat? You said you thought maybe we'd see that same strat from Chaos. Yeah, his barrier ignite here though. So I don't know if he's going for like as much of like a kill thing. I mean, I'll probably still try it all in him, but I, th I figured he'd go with an exhaust instead of oh, Yeah, he had exhaust last time, yeah. Yeah. And then Brad, I think, just wants to push him in some more. Uh, I think if Annie hits six and Chaos is sitting at like half health, she can definitely just blow him up instantly. So we'll just have to see how the trades go. This is like a really even matchup, I feel like. All right, one bad. Brad taking down match number one. Um... Of course, this is for the spot in the second semifinal. And we have two additional matches uh, after this. So we're about ready to load up. You can head on over to ebaycharity.gg as well. Check out more information about the eBay Charity Invitational by Onog and uh, the My Gadgets. Portion of eBay, newly added. Keep track of uh, everything that you own or have owned, it can be not only incredibly useful, but also a little depressing. Sometimes when you realize how much... I don't know if you buy a lot of electronics, St. Vicious. Are you like a gadgets guy? I was, but then like... Anything that I was like excited about, probably like, man, I'm going to get like this new computer or something. But I just have like a really nice computer given to me, so I'm just like, <laughs> well, that just took all the fun out of buying something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I like to have all the, all the latest stuff, like the latest smartphones and things like that. Yeah. Definitely, definitely one of those guys that likes to have gadgets. Maybe a little too much, but so I can certainly understand. Yeah. All right, we got Elixir opening yet again. How about you? You an iPhone guy? Or a... Are you going to judge me when I give my answer? I don't I really feel like care. you're going to judge me, St. Vicious. I, I think both the phones are really good. All right, so I'm actually an iPhone guy. Um, I'm a, I'm a iPhone, iPad, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got the iPhone. I'm an iPhone guy. I, don't, I think that the Galaxy is, like, right right now the Galaxy is a better phone. But, uh, I mean, I just, like, been with, like, iPhone for so long, so that's kind of, like, why I do it. You, you know? know, that's that's actually it, right? Like, when you buy your first app from the Apple Store, they got you. Yeah. Right? Because <laughs> it's suddenly, like, I have that for life, and if I switch phones now, I'm in trouble. And same thing kind of goes over, you know, for any Android users that ever want to make the change, but... I was definitely one of those guys who's like, nope, never we're gonna get it, not gonna happen. It, and then I used it. I'm like, all right, this is kind of nice. But I really love the iPad, man. The iPad's where it's at. I have, I actually don't use my phone that much. My iPad though gets too much usage. So, anyway, browse the Reddit, yeah, everything. Right, watch Twitch streams on it, Netflix. Like it is just the portable movie box, as far as I'm concerned. So love it. Yeah, love it. All right, guess what? Yeah, no elixir popped. Thing. No elixir yeah. pop, though. All right. We were, Chaos is already having a better game. <laughs> Let's get Minions have spawned. All right. Minions out. And one bad Brad looking to clean this up in game number two. Does not want to go to a third game with Chaos. Looking through some of the comments on, like, the Reddit thread uh, for the eBay Charity Invitational, I definitely feel like a lot of people are saying Chaos was a shoe in to take it home. So one bad Brad could certainly, I think, Surprise a lot of people here, at least those folks that were saying Kax is going to take it. So we'll see how it uh, how it breaks down. Brad actually started W, so he looks like he wants to get a huge chunk off on him. He's got to zone him out with that stun. Uh, Brad actually made a mistake here. He didn't. He could have gone for two more autos on that, but uh, he got some pretty good damage on him. He actually has the health advantage, and he actually has one of the longest auto attack ranges out of any of the casters in the game. It's a lot longer than than uh, Twitch's auto attack range, so you can get free trade damage. Chaos already down to just a little bit of health at about 250 right now. Both of them dropping a pot. 
And, uh, yeah, I mean, for that reason, and so far, like, Brad's been, uh, you know, zoning pretty good. Going in, hitting his uh, last hits. It's tied right now. Kax getting him with a good expunge. All Kax actually has to do is, I think he's going to try to bait him with that barrier in Red Pot. Because that's, that's a lot of extra health, and I think Brad might try to go for a kill somewhere. And I think he might slip up with that. Well, I, I think that'd be a good strategy, too. I mean, based off of how Brad has been kind of playing uh, at the front here, I, I think you're right. I think that's uh, what he might be thinking about. There he hits again. Oh, nice. Oh, there's a stun, but... They missed the W. Rough. He's actually out of potions. Kax still has one potion left and his red pot, so... But Brad does have the TP, so I don't really think that matters too much. He, he actually has a chance to go back. And the TP works out well. Uh, I mean, a lot of different situations. And we got this whole minion wave pushed up here for Brad. But uh, right now, I mean, really easy or really even. Chaos is just hitting level four. Brad's just trying to get the last hit on that, and Chaos is definitely using. That to his advantage, just getting any damage he possibly can off. So, another push back and forth. Where do you think this one will will go to right now? I mean, things pretty easy. To, uh, like, burst damage uh, limitations right now are kind of in, in full effect. So, do you think this goes to the <laughs> mid, the mid game of a 1v1? I mean, this is the most even match we've seen so far. So far. Like, oh. Both of them have like completely even CS. Uh, Kax hasn't really done anything with his red pie yet, but he, he is still sitting on it. So I think this might, this one actually might come down to, if, if he doesn't manage to kill him at six, then it's gonna come down to CS. 26-26 uh, already at uh, four minutes and 36 seconds. Both players actually nailing everything as they keep going back and forth. I think you're right, it, it could most certainly go down to that. I mean, unless like, uh, Lucky shot, or just maybe uh, being a little bit too aggro. Going yellow, I don't know. I don't know. I think they're both.